Hey, out with the old, in with the new. The historic Clorinda Page building will soon be history in Midtown. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Josh Egbert is at City Hall with the story. Josh? Well, Jen, the City Council has voted to remove that landmark status of the Clorinda Page Apartments on a 7-0 to zero vote. This will now pave the way for new development in Midtown Crossing, but not before supporters of the building pleaded to City Council. As a young professional, I would like to express my concern about what is happening in Midtown and the larger implications it has on Omaha. The Clorinda Page is historical, relevant, and should remain a landmark. It was a passionate show of support at the Omaha City Council meeting as supporters of the Clorinda Page Apartments made one last plea to save this historic landmark. We have a building that is functioning. There is no evidence of it being structurally unsound. Mutual of Omaha is leading the charge in having the 100-year-old building demolished to make way for expansion of Midtown Crossing. Residents of the Clorinda say they approached Mutual to buy the building because they've lost money in their purchases. Is as an owner, I have a buyer and I want to sell. But those who want to see the building go say it's past its useful life. It's not to be made on emotions, but it's really to be made on the totality of the circumstances and uh, in looking at the reality of the situation here. Only eight of the Clorinda's 21 units are occupied, which were restored back in 2009. The page remains empty since 2006 when it was deemed unfit to live in. Council says that the building is not economically feasible they, to save. They say bringing the page back to livable conditions would frankly cost too much money. But supporters say that the cost would be just around $1.2 million to renovate that building. And of course, the removal of the landmark status has already been given approval from the planning board and the planning department. We're live tonight in downtown Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News.